let's get this neckline party started. Okay, so I have my belly and top um, completed up to the point where I'm ready to start my neckline. Then I also have my pattern piece for my neckline here. And I added some tree coat interfacing just to give this a little bit of stability. You don't have to use interfacing if you have a more structured fabric, um, but this typically is made in kind of a lighter weight fabric that has some drapey qualities. So I do recommend adding just a thin light layer of um, interfacing. So some important things to notice, your pattern piece will have three notches on each side and we're gonna be sewing to these notches for the neckline. So we're going to clip in and mark where our notches are. This only has a quarter of an inch seam allowance, so you don't wanna to snip too far in. Okay, now that we have our notches in here, we are going to hop on over to the sewing machine. And I'm gonna show you on the pattern piece because I think it's a little easier to see. We're gonna fold this in half and we're gonna be stitching from this notch all the way over. And then we're gonna be stitching the short ends, the short end over here. And then we're gonna be stitching from notch to notch. I'm going to bring back my pattern piece just to show you guys again. We stitched the short end here, the short end here, and then we sewed from notch all the way over, like here. And then we sewed between notch and notch, so our two notches here. Now we're gonna take some scissors and we are going to clip all the way to our stitching. Flip um, this neckline right side out. So we're gonna push out our corners and then shimmy this through. Now that we have our neckline all turned right side out, we're going to hop on over to the iron and give this a good press before we start attaching it to the neckline of the top. Let's get the neckline onto our shirt. I have it laid out like this so that you can see it a little bit easier. This is gonna be the back neck opening and here is our front yoke pieces and then our center front, which has yet to be sewn up. Uh, want to bring in the pattern piece of this front yoke so you can see there is a notch here, okay? And we're, we're gonna be using this notch to be sewing on the neckline. Starting with the left side first, we are going to put the neckline here. We're gonna fold this back, this um, binding piece, folding it back and then placing our neckline along here and then matching it to this notch here. We're gonna be sewing at a quarter of an inch from here to here. And then we're gonna do the same thing on the other side of the neckline. So this side will have some, this laying over, it'll be going over. This side is going to match exactly to the back neckline here, kind of like this, okay? And it will match to the notch here. So we'll be sewing from here all the way to the back. As you can see, I stitched on the neckline from the back all the way to the notch on both sides and it kind of creates this round neckline for us, our, ch our choker neckband. Now it's time to add our binding pieces to the neckline so that we have a finished neckline. So you should have two neck binding uh, pieces. 
and we're gonna be adding them to each side of the neckline, starting at the back with a little bit hanging over, you know, roughly a quarter to a half an inch. We are going to lay this on top and stitch a quarter of an inch all the way down. The tricky part here is when we get to this neck piece here where this notch is, we're gonna be pulling it out of the way so that we don't stitch through this and just stitching the quarter of an inch so that when we turn this back, that is a nice clean finish. So we're gonna stitch from the back all the way down to the center front of the neckline. And then we're gonna repeat that process and do it for the other side as well. So starting all the way in the back, leaving just a, a quarter inch to a half inch tail at the end hanging over, all the way down, moving this out of the way, down to the center front of the neckline. We put on the binding from this back neck point all the way through to the front. And I just wanna show you this little part. See how this is nice and finished off? Here's kind of the front side. Okay, next we are going to be folding our neck, our neck binding pieces away from the neckband, but with the seam allowance underneath. And then we're gonna be doing a layer of top stitching or better known as under stitching to this binding piece. I already did it for the sake of video making. Um, so you can see that I have the seam allowance turned underneath and I did a row of under stitching so that this all turns to the back. So what we're gonna be doing next is since we added the top stitching, we're gonna be tucking this back so that it, this is just the back of the neckband so that it is nice and finished off and clean. Okay, and we're going to be tucking or folding this raw edge towards the back of our neck binding. And then when we do that, you can press this step. I tend to do it all at one time. Um, and we turn this back and then we flip this over and keeping the neck, the choker away, we're going to stitch along this edge all the way down, folding it and stitching it, okay? And this will give a nice clean finish to this neckline, okay? So we're gonna hop on over and do that. Here we have it, our completed neckline. Just wanna show you some of these. So here I flipped back and underneath to finish this edge here for this back part. And we tucked all of our, our raw edge under and stitched it down. Last thing we need to do is stitch up our center front seam. So we're gonna match up at the center of the neckline here and make sure these match perfectly and stitch from here all the way down to the end of our shirt. All right, that is it for stitching up this neckline. I am going to finish the rest of this top and sewing up the side seams, adding the sleeves, and then I will be adding a snap closure in the back. So typically one snap in the center or a button will complete this neckline.